Hello, today we are going to make coconut milk in our Thermomix. So, um, just remove all the hair and everything from the coconut until you get this point here. And you can just cut it into smaller pieces for your blender. And also boil the kettle for warm water in the meantime. To make this coconut milk, I'm using four coconuts. I've divided it into two, so two coconuts are in a bowl on the side and two coconuts are in the Thermomix bowl. So just mix it up, as you can see here, until it gets really fine, until you're happy with that. Um, the traditional way would be to grater it by hand, which is time consuming. So um, yeah, it's a lovely opportunity to have a blender and blend it out really fast and really fine. Speed 10 is the better and the best speed because it gets it done faster and you get a finer result. In fact, um, the higher the speed, the finer size, something like that. Okay, so once that's all blended, you're going to empty out all the coconut um, into a bowl and do the second batch. Okay, so for batch one, I forgot to add the warm water while I was blending. But so for this one, we're going to add the um, warm water, about 250 milliliters, and um, yeah, have a look. Okay, so what do we have after five minutes? And we have... Okay, so it looks like rice pudding, but it's actually coconut blended with warm water. So it looks, yeah, a really good texture, nice and smooth and fine. Perfect. This is the consistency that you're looking for. Um, because the next stage we're going to do is separate the coconut trash um, from the coconut milk. So the next step is to pour the mixture into a bowl to start the separation process, like this. Let's have the second batch going on at the same time, um, just to make um, the process speedier. So um, it's kind of hard to record and show you the, the squeezing or the separation process but if you like basically get some of the um, the trash and try and squeeze it out until it's dry you'll see the um, the milk separating and that's the basically the, the idea and um, that's what I do until it's all separated alternatively you can get a sieve and you can push the trash against the sieve and and this helps to separate the milk. Once the trash is really dry, you separate that into a second bowl. Um, sometimes people do repeat it, but then you're going to get a weaker consistency of coconut milk, um, which you may or may not want, depends on what you're cooking or what you're using it for, as coconut milk and coconut oil can be made from that trash once you boil it down. Okay, so the next stage is to basically sieve the milk to make sure that there's no um, coconut pieces left. Um, you'll see some of the um, 
the trash bin made on the side and left there in the sieve it's not very much but then what's in the bowl is your coconut milk and there you have it you've made coconut milk once this is done cool down slightly you can bottle it up freeze and store as necessary hope you enjoyed the video four coconuts and only 250 milliliters of coconut milk no 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 that's not what happens basically um, I didn't do all the coconuts for the whole process I just wanted to show you what I've made so far but you'll get about three um, bottles of this 